Well, well, my cosmic pal, do you ever feel like everything is just drifting apart? Well, your intuition may be right. It turns out something weird is indeed happening in the universe. Since the Big Bang, everything has been spreading out in every direction and getting faster every day. But here's the thing. Not all galaxies are moving at the same speed. We have some seriously massive clumps of matter out there that are slowing us down. And there's one giant mysterious gravitational anomaly that's been dubbed the Great Attractor. No, we're not counting me, though we share the same nickname. <laughs> it's the mystery of mysteries, and it's been pulling us and all the nearby galaxies closer to it for billions of years. Scientists aren't certain what this great attractor is made of, but it's so powerful that it overcomes dark energy, which makes up about two-thirds of the universe. Dark energy is more or less like the universe's energy drink, pushing everything forward and giving galaxies a boost in their movement. So where is this thing? Hiding in the zone of avoidance, which sounds like a made-up town from a sci-fi movie, but is actually a real place in the universe. There's just so much stuff between us and the great attractor – stars, gas, dust – that we can't even see it. Some astronomers think that this is just how the universe ends. Everything clumps together into one giant supercluster, and then boom, big crunch. It's like when you're trying to fit all your clothes into one suitcase, and it just ends up exploding everywhere. Now, before you start thinking that galaxies moving is no big deal. Let me tell you that this isn't just any ordinary movement. You see, this thing called the Hubble flow dictates that galaxies should be receding from one another as the universe expands. But as luck would have it, that's not what's happening. The great attractor is so strong that it even affects our own galaxy, hurtling us toward it at more than a million miles per hour. I'll spare you the math, but if we spun around the sun at that kind of speed, our year would be a mere 18 days long. The Great Attractor was first noticed in the 70s, but our technology wasn't quite up to the task of seeing through the zone of avoidance. Nevertheless, X-ray technology has come to our rescue in recent years, and it has helped us piece together some of these hidden parts of the galaxy. Now, what can this Great Attractor be, you might ask? We can only make assumptions at this point. The most likely solution is that it's a galactic cluster. They are basically the universe's version of a massive family reunion. These bad boys are held together by their own gravity and can pack hundreds or even thousands of galaxies, along with a ton of hot plasma and sneaky invisible dark matter. Mm. The X-ray data has revealed a plethora of distant galaxies that we previously didn't know existed. Not only that, but two new galaxy clusters have been found – the Norma Cluster and the Shapley Supercluster. The Norma Cluster has a mass of roughly 1,000 trillion suns and comprises thousands of galaxies. It's possible that the Norma Cluster is the reason for the Milky Way's high-speed hurdle through space. But it still can't explain the movement of thousands of galaxies around us. However, when scientists peered deeper through the zone of avoidance, they spotted the Shapley supercluster. This behemoth of a galaxy cluster is the largest within a billion light years. It could explain the movement of galaxies in our sliver of the universe. More than 8,000 galaxies create a mass of more than 10 million billion suns. Most scientists have accepted that the Shapley supercluster is most likely the force behind the great attractor. It lies in the region where the pull appears to be coming from, and logically, it seems to make the most sense. There's more, though. Some researchers take pause at the proximity of the Shapley supercluster to other clusters. Too many galaxies come together in various clusters there, openly defying the Hubble flow. Some experts believe that a large gravitational anomaly is the real answer to the Great Attractor. There have been theories ranging from a supermassive black hole, larger than anything we could possibly imagine, to some sort of life form making a mess in that corner of the universe. The Great Attractor is not the only weird thing we've stumbled upon in the universe, as you can imagine. Have you heard of the red rectangle? No, it's not a new dance move, 
but an amazing nebula surrounding a star called HD 44179. This star is a lot like our Sun, but it's at the end of its life and is spewing out gas and other materials to create this incredible structure. Some scientists think that the star might actually be a close binary, meaning that it has a partner and that there's a thick ring of dust around it. And even though we've got some ideas about how the red rectangle got its shape, scientists are not entirely sure. One thing we do know for sure is that the red rectangle is a type of nebula called a protoplanetary nebula. And when that happens, there will be a super-hot white dwarf star left over, which will give off some seriously cool ultraviolet radiation and make the surrounding gas glow. As for its location, it's about 2300 light-years away hanging out in the constellation dubbed the Unicorn. Not all weird space objects are so far away from us in the universe. Some of them may be lurking pretty close to home. In January 2015, two clever astronomers made a prediction that a gigantic planet could be spying on us from our outer solar system. Now, before you start getting too excited, we should point out that they haven't actually seen this mammoth world yet. Their prediction is based on some pretty basic math and computer simulations, so there's still some debate about whether this prediction is true or not. But if it is, this planet, which scientists have nicknamed Planet 9, also called Planet X in the past, could be up to 10 times the mass of our own Earth and about the same size as Uranus or Neptune. What's really unusual about this mysterious planet is that its predicted orbit is extremely elongated, making it unlike any other planet we've seen before. In fact, it's estimated to be about 20 times further from the Sun than Neptune. And it takes between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete just one full orbit. You might be asking yourself, how can anyone predict a planet they've never seen before? Well, these scientists noted that at least five other smaller objects floating around in the distant parts of our solar system seem to be following similarly unusual orbits. By analyzing these orbits, astronomers worked out that there must be a big, undiscovered planet out there causing all the fuss. To figure out this mystery, astronomers will be peering into the universe's most powerful telescopes to see if they can spot this elusive Planet 9. However, it won't be an easy task, since an object that is so far from the Sun must be very faint and difficult to detect. Some astronauts have even experienced the Bermuda Triangle equivalent of space while passing through the South Atlantic anomaly. This is a region in Earth's magnetic field where two rings of charged particles come closest to our planet's surface. And as luck would have it, this area happens to be high above the South Atlantic. Computers can go haywire there, and astronauts can see cosmic flashes, possibly because of radiation stimulating their retinas. And it's not just poor astronauts who have to deal with this anomaly. Even the Hubble Space Telescope is unable to make observations when passing through this region. It's a real pain in the telescope's lens. So what's the deal with this SAA? It turns out that our planet's magnetic field is not perfectly aligned to its rotation axis, which causes the two particle rings to tilt. And as a result, we end up with this region that's causing all sorts of trouble. Well, space is just one thing or another, isn't it? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.